My name is Liliana Orozco and the topic I chose was language attitudes. I chose this topic and I became interested in it because I had to read a chapter from an author named Gloria Anzaldúa. She is a Valley native and she is an author. I had to read one of her chapters and it discussed her identity and how it correlates to language and how it affected her growing up. Um, she was ashamed of her language at times and she would get language shamed and she kind of defines it as language terrorism, which is hostility Chicanos face with Mexican Americans face from both English and Spanish speakers about their bilingual language varieties. I resonate with this because I feel like since I live in the US, I'm expected to know English perfectly. And I'm right close to the border as well. And I get expected to know Spanish perfectly. And that's not the case. My English is stronger than my Spanish. And I wanted to see how other females um, viewed their language and if it was a positive or negative. My hypothesis was that many bilingual women attending UT or GV will have a negative attitude towards the language they are not fully comfortable speaking. And this is the biggest reason for it was the language shaming. Um, a lot of us bilinguals feel nervous or embarrassed when we're having to speak a language that we're not fully comfortable with because we're afraid of somebody judging us. So I defined um, language attitudes as the attitudes, the feelings, the beliefs that people have uh, about language, um, linguistic resources, their own language, and the language of other people. So I did a survey for my data. I did, it was a 10 question, all of them multiple choice. A few of them had a text box answer just to justify their explanation, um, their answer. And I sent my link to a WhatsApp group chat that I knew was gonna be all females because it was one of my classes that I take. And I knew they were all bilingual as well because we speak Spanish in the class. And from my data that I found, I was correct with my hypothesis. Um, a lot of women, uh, bilingual women in the UTRGV do feel a negative attitude towards the language that they're not fully comfortable with. And one of them, one of the questions that really spoke out was, has anyone ever tried to correct you when you speak? And nine people said yes, and only one person said no. One participant responded, when I speak Spanish, I usually get corrected because it isn't my best language and I get embarrassed. It kind of felt like comforting because all the answers that I were getting were answers that I felt myself and I knew that I wasn't the only one that felt like I get ash I get ashamed for not knowing my language, both languages fully. And one consequence that could arise from the evidence that I found was they might see my research and think that, oh, bilingual women have a negative feeling towards using Spanish. That's not the case. They get negative feelings because the environment that we're in doesn't create a positive environment to practice our Spanish and to practice our English. And we're not thinking about just practicing. We're thinking about, oh, I hope I don't mess up or I hope um, somebody doesn't tell me something for my uh, mispronunciations. Uh, so that is one negative possibility that can come out of my research. Thank you.